Uh, g'day everyone, I'm Gido, and today I'm back on the south coast of Western Australia. Just pulled into this beautiful little bay here. Uh, it is sheltered, meant to be sheltered from the wind. It's swirling a bit, but the plan is push the kayak out, go catch some squid. They're southern calamari, probably one of the tastiest things in the ocean down here. And if we can get some of them, then we got bait and we're gonna try to catch some King George whiting with some tentacles from them. So let's, uh, let's push the kayak out, we'll get into it. Today we are casting uh, this new setup. What is it? Daiwa TD Sol 3000. Eight pound TAS line on there, and I've got the old Faithful Oceans Legacy. Um, I forget what they even called because I got the prototype still. It's just a squid rod. Let's go. Let's get it. beautiful and calm in here now and it's all white caps out there but then it just comes in and just swirls Whew. I am flying along no mask no nothing where's my line it's all out in front of me to the cast. This is way too fast to be working a jig, but anyway, let's head out to some slightly deeper water. See if the squid are out here. So nice out here in the calm. And then it just goes. Whoosh. Yeah, I'm gonna fish up here this sort of patchy ground. We're gonna try that. Might throw on another jig soon as well. Oh, that's one. Yep, that's a squid. Yeah. What was I saying? I might throw on another jig. I just felt the resistance. I didn't want it to pull because I don't know how well hooked this is. Come on. It's a good size. Yeah. I can see it on the surface out there. Oh, I really want to get a big one today, but this one's decent. So I'm stoked on that. Not bad at all. Decent sized cephalopod to start it off. We'll dispatch this. We have a quick, uh, we just karate chop. Simple as a, we just go. Done. Dead. Jig up. All right, sorry, the GoPro turned off because it got too hot, but we have a bait rig ready. Stuck on my thing there. And we've got some bait here. Now. There we go, just tore that off. I'll go get a knife in a sec. There it is, there's my knife. Easy access all along, I just had to find the bloody thing. Whoa. Whoa. 
Uh, we're just cruising along right now. I'm gonna go try a different spot. The wind is absolutely moving me out. And see if we can get some kgs a bit further along here and some more squid. Voila! See how that goes. Let's see. KG's coming up. Come on! I feel like I'm going to spook him because I'm so shallow though. Let's cast. There. I have a feeling this spot is windier than where I was before. Anyway. Can always paddle back. So far I haven't even had a bite yet, so give it a bit longer and I think we'll move on and go back to squid and maybe just put this rod down and see if something comes and eats it. Got something on. My line just started going out very slowly and I was like, oh, something's, could just be a ras, let's see. Feels like a ras, looks like a ras. Is a ras. All right, that's all good. Over another cast. Let's go just there. Let's see if there's anything in there. Was that a squid? I think that might be a squid up there. It looks... It's going the wrong way in the water. Oh, uh, is it? I'm going to try it. Oh, no, it looks like weed now. Let's try No, nah, it's weed. Oh no, there was a squid there. But it wasn't what I was looking at. Squid in here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Is that a squid or a cutley? Yeah, it's a squid. So I saw a bit of weed there and I was like, oh, is that a squid? Yeah, you screw all your ink out before you come in the boat this time. How do you? Go on. Blue one. <clears throat> there we go. Another one on deck. Let's quickly see if there's another one in where I got it from. Just quick cast. In here. There's plenty of squid around at least. So windy! I'm going to head back sort of towards where I got my other squid and um, drop anchor and try to get a few more, maybe try to get a kg still. But that wind is ferocious. I don't know if I'm camping out tonight. I was going to camp on that other beach, but the wind is just smashing it. It should be offshore, but it isn't. Anyway, let's move on. Alright, 
hopefully that will hold anchor. If it doesn't, then uh, we're gonna go to the beach. It's so windy. Let's see if we catch another squidly. Try that patch over there now. Yeah. We're definitely drift, definitely drifting a cast of that and a cast of that before, and now we're right on them. Let's go to the beach. It's too damn windy. wind here right now is something else but I'm going to take my bait and I'm going to sit on the rock and cast out in here and see see if we can pick up a kg that way oh yeah this is the zone heck yes try out there and then I'm pretty much just gonna kick back relax and wait for the fish all the waves to wash over my toes and that's when I wake up oh, I was just laying back and uh, something came nibbling and ate it it was on the sand so hopefully it's not a rest Let's see what we have here. What do we got? Ooh, it looks alright. Is that a... Yep. Let's, is that a... Sandy or a K... Yeah, it's a KG. I was going to say, it's a very light coloured KG. We got one. Sick. There we go. Not massive, but just a reasonable size KG. So... Oh, somehow spiked me on his gill plate. Let's, um... Dispatch this guy, chuck another bait out and see if we can get some more. Lob this straight back out in the same zone again. See if we can get another one. It was out. That way. Pretty close to where that landed just then. And I was pretty much just back here. <laughs> laying back like this. I'm going to put it in there and it just slides down. Oh, I've just emptied out all that. Alright, that'll do. Keep that down there. Ugh. Yep, happy with that. Time to sit back and wait. We're getting bites already. It's coming towards me. No. Fish on. That could be about to get a couple of kgs just like that. That'll be alright. Probably need to go get my... Yeah, that's another one. There's a better one, I think. Yep. Is it? Yeah, maybe a little bit better. Not bad. They're not massive, they're probably around the 40 centimetre mark. I think they have to be 28 or 30. I would have to double check that, but it's definitely, I'm confident it's size. Have one on. I just, I've been out there for ages and I decided to do a little cast just here. And what do we got? Another one. Nice. Right in close. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can get another one on top of that in a sec. Oh. 
can't I? I think he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's out of there. Lost him. That was a bit of a rookie move of me. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm going to push the kayak back out now and go catch a couple more squid and I will not cook up dinner here. It's just too windy. We will do that at another location, but let's go catch a couple more squid first. Get them, big ones. Oh, there's a squid there. It's coming for it. And I think I'm on. I'm not. Interesting. There we go. Now I'm on. Oh. Now let's just go for another cast anyway. We want the Kraken. We want a big, a big one, huge one. There's one, little one. Let's get that back out there. It's another one. Okay, there's a few squid out here. It's a little one again. This one's tiny again. I bailed on the last location. It was just too windy and I had a bad feeling that if I tried to cook dinner there, it was gonna end up with a fair dosage of sand in it. So I found somewhere else, which is just this cool little cave that I just stumbled across actually while I have been out exploring, trying to find where I'm gonna fish the next couple of days. So let's prep dinner and cook up. I also managed to leave the chopping board which I'd carefully packed in the kayak with the kayak. So now I just pulled a piece of cardboard out of the car, my makeshift chopping board for this one. Just gonna chop up some brock, a bit of broccoli. But I'm gonna chuck all that in there out of the way. And I'm gonna get that cranking right here, right now. Bit of oil. I'm also gonna add some chili that I bought. So I, I should have cleaned the squid at the beach, but I just cleaned it here so it's not as clean as I could get it, but it's not going to hurt me. So 
I'm just going to slice it up into rings now before I get King George Whiting scales everywhere. Just going to chuck that straight in the panko. Nice and simple. But flour and egg wash is better, but I'm not doing that out here. So panko it is, and it does do the trick. And then we're going to scale this so I can leave the skin on if it's going to work. Yep. Scaling them fresher is better. But it seems to be working so far. Chuck them in there with the panko. Oh, that's almost done. And I almost forgot one of the ingredients. Some almonds, slithers, some sort of nuts. So this is, this is easy, I'll chuck that in. All right, that's almost done. When it's done, I'm gonna chuck it in here. Starting to smell those almonds a bit now. Apparently pine nuts go really good as well, but I couldn't find them at the shop that I went to. For whatever reason, they did not have them. All right, let's serve that up in here. Oh, look at that. The skin is like bubbling. So good. And we got a whole lot of squid and KG. Whole lot. Bit of this stuff Charbro Barbecue Lemon number one. Everywhere, including on my legs. Where is the Koopy? Let's try a bit of Brock. Tastes pretty damn good to me. It's really good, actually. Bit of KG. Oh. Thanks for watching everyone. We will see you all on the next one when hopefully we're fishing on the cliffs out there somewhere. So, cheers. See ya. Oh yeah, and one other thing. Check out this. Actually came in through here. There's a cool big flat opening out here, but it was just a bit windy. So I crawled through from that opening into this cave to cook dinner. Might even roll the swag out there to sleep tonight. We'll see. Car's just over the hill a little bit.